All right, check it out, man. Real excited about this one. I always wanted one of these. It's a Minnie Mouse convertible. And uh, they didn't utilize this uh, hood space before, so I thought it'd be cool for the kids to be able to um, actually have a functional hood. They could put, you know, their juice boxes up in here and stuff. Just got to protect the wires. Let's put a little piece of plastic or something, but I taped these. Actually, I extended this headlight wire so that I could get these to go back up in there because before they just had it hanging here so it wouldn't be really be usable to put anything in there and I'm just gonna make a more simple the way it goes in now it kind of locks in place but I'll make it so that they can open it and it's got a windshield too but I took it off it's just hilarious but it's got a push button start forward reverse got all that work in it's got a horn and a little six volt motor which um, I think could be run at 12 volts, honestly, but I think this other circuitry would probably burn out if you did that. But we're going to find out um, what it used before. I've never seen a lead acid this small. It's so cute. A 6 volt. But it's kind of interesting. I've seen this on a lot of the other power wheel designs. Um, what goes in there? I think they had it up in the front one before, or no, it was there. But there was space for two of them. I cut out like all the different supports because I'm going to put in a much larger battery. Like there's these. That went upwards in here before and a little plastic piece that goes over that. Um, but as you can see, they made it so there's, you could put two batteries and you see where that motor is over there. Well, they put a cutout on this side too. So uh, it could just be the mold making process, it's easier, or if they wanted to be able to, you know, sell a 6 volt model and a 12 volt model. But then it got me thinking like, all right, so if you ran a 12 volt, these are a 6 volt battery, what would they do? Just put two 6 volts and have one battery go to each motor? Or would you put two 6 volts have, and have 12 volt motors, two of them? Yeah, you know, you could do it either way, um, but yeah, but what I'm going to do, I'm taking some Toyota, or sorry, Panasonic really, nickel metal hydride modules, I like to use these for the kids' toys because they're very safe and I give them a slow charger and uh, then you don't got to worry about it. You don't need any BMS, you know, um, as long as you charge it slowly. So, yeah, these, I had to cut some of this shit out and, uh, you know, seal it up, make it a little better. I know it looks terrible right now. I got to get a better, smaller grinder thing to get in tight places like that. But I was hoping to be able to fit more, but it looks like I'll be able to fit three of these before it hits the motor up here. Actually, I know I can. I already put them in there. But either way, that's a big improvement over what it had before. Even just one of these is more power than it had before. And these are used, but it, it's still going to have quite a bit more power. Um, you know, and I could have, and I considered it, but it's overkill, you know. Could have went up here, you know, could have did something like that. Yeah, if I really wanted to maximized <laughs> this thing. I could have had it look like a supercharger too, you know, sticking out of the hood, make a cutout in the hood. You could have fit, what, quite a few. Pulled off my tape. If you did it that way, you could fit a bunch, but this is a, a little kid's toy. Um, and considering it had one six volt, uh, what was it, like a, a four amp hour or seven amp hour or something, let me see. It's a uh, cycle use, 2.1 amps, initial current, uh, 7 amp hour, that's what it says. These are, la, 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 la. these are 8, or 7.2 nominal volts, uh, 6.8 amp hours. When you say it that way, it doesn't sound as impressive, but it's definitely a lot more energy in this. I guess I'd have to look at the watt hours on that, but anyways, 
that's what we'll have in the end here. And uh, some little girl will be real happy with her mini mouse. I considered painting it and doing all that. I was like, nah, you know, they already made it look all pretty. I'll come across a Jeep one or something to give to a boy or whatever. I don't care. If they want this one. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats their boat. So I'll make a video when it's done. And that's a Gen 1 Prius, which I should be working on, but I'm working on this. You know, this is a better uh, to teach kids about electric vehicles. I mean, this is so simple when when to teach kids, you know. You got this little tiny circuit board up there that, that basically controls everything. Uh, not even the motor controller, it's just for the sound effects. You know, there's a speaker there. You got the, the push button, you know, you get to see the little connectors here. It's got LED headlights up here, which is pretty cool. But, like, what a good way to teach kids about electric vehicles, because, by golly, this is an electric car. I know it's uh, laughably simple, but that's what you would want to teach kids about this stuff, you know. It could give them a really good introduction so that's why I think it's such a good way. And then they, they would they get to keep the thing, so they would be, you know, interested in actually participating in it and not just, you know, following directions or something. Um, the whole idea is to get them involved and to want to do something with this and to give this to kids that, you know, their parents couldn't afford it. That's kind of the idea. Um, so, yeah being thrown away i find these all the time so if you see one grab it i'll take it i don't care if it's a pink mickey mouse convertible even better i said i know there's a little girl out there somewhere that would love this thing i'm gonna pimp the ride so to speak and uh you know i think it's cool i should be doing real work but whatever it's fun so yeah that's about it all right Aloha. Later.